What's up, y'all? We're back at Jared's room. So, today we have a couple of holsters here. Actually, this is the holster we're going to be looking at. Yeah, I have it on a belt because I want to show you guys something. This, this holster here is one that uh, I got from a company called Wright Leatherworks. They do custom leather holsters, handmade holsters. Uh, I bought this online. This one here is a holster that we bought when we were at the, was it the Great American Outdoor Show? Back in February. We posted a video on that too, I think. Did. If y'all want to see that, but I just have it kind of sitting here on a. This is a Bigfoot gun belt. We're not sponsored by that. <laughs> sure. Sure. Anyway, um, this holster is from a company called Kester Farms Tactical. And they're out of Georgia. I can't remember what. Looks like Deering, Georgia on here. I can't find the guy's uh, business card, but Rooster said his first name is Riley. So Riley Kester, shout out to him. Yeah, shout out to Riley Kester for the holster and uh, also the coin trick he pulled. He did a little coin trick for the kids. It was, it was pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, just an old guy that has a hobby. Knows what he's doing. Dude. Knows what he's doing. He makes these. He hand makes these holsters. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a lot of stitching involved in this thing. And it's what you call a pancake holster. So you can see the back of it. How it kind of goes through the loops. It's different than a regular pancake. This is a regular pancake. And you can see how it is. You can see how different they look. So. There's a couple of things I want to talk about with this holster. Obviously this is for the, the Glock 19. This is for Ruger LC9S Pro. There's a big difference here as far as kind of the design of the holster. They're both pancake holsters. That's what we call them because they, they basically they sit at a three o'clock position when kind of pancakes itself up against your hips. So that's where that phrase comes from. Um, this one, this is unloaded. Fits really nice in there. Um, what I want to show you is something called the cant. For those of you that don't know, the cant is the angle pistol sits on your hip. So this is a 15 degree can. It's really easy to grab it and pull it out when it's on your hip. Lock. This holster has a 19 degree can. So it sits more forward on your hip kind of hiding this a little bit better up into your hip. So this is way easier to conceal than this one. You know, this is a larger pistol. Um, I wouldn't wear this in the summertime because you got a big old pistol like this. It's going to just print. I mean, if you're wearing like a t-shirt, like I like to wear cut off sleeve shirts, Man, that thing looks like a side backpack or something on your hip. Man, like, it's ridiculous. In the wintertime, yeah, you could wear this. Put your jacket over it, heavy jacket, you know, flannel shirt, whatever. This is a really good option for, for winter carry. I carry this pretty much every day. Um, it's comfortable, it's small. And again, this you have 
7 plus 1 rounds. You got 15 plus 1 in this game. If you're a bad shot, you might want to go with this one. You also want to mention <laughs> how hard it might be to pull that out from someone. So there's, there's a lot of features with this holster that this one doesn't have. So for instance, like he said, the 19 degree cant on this, the angle on this is so far forward that when you're wearing it, it's not uncomfortable to pull it. It is a little awkward, you've got to get used to it. But if someone's going to reach behind you from behind and try to pull this, the thing ain't coming out. You have to angle it like that for it to come out. So that's a pretty cool feature for something like this. Um, and I like the fact that it completely covers the trigger guard. Just, there's no way you can get anything really in there, you know, stuck in there that would maybe manipulate the trigger and have a misfire or whatever. Um, this one I think is pretty similar. Yeah, I mean, you can see a little bit of the trigger guard. This one's completely covered. And you can get your hand around this really, really easily to pull, to draw, and reholster. Um, the only thing I don't really like about it is I wish, I wish that this sweat guard came up a little bit further and covered this part of the pistol. Because this rides against you. That thing will eat right into your hip, man. See how this one has a covers the whole back side of the pistol. If that makes sense to you guys. I, I wear pistols and I carry them, so if, if you if you do, you kind of understand what I'm talking about. Um, if you've ever carried like a Alien Gear or you know, a Bianchi holster or something, they all have that sweat part that comes up over, which is really really nice. Yeah, I mean, this thing is pretty cool. Uh, you can see, I'm getting kind of an up close here if I, can, if I can. You can see, like, some of the stitching and design in this. It's really well made. Um, you know, the guy's, what, in his 80s, I think? He was yes. a pretty old dude. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, there's a stitch here and there that are kind of crooked, but hey. We paid, well, I think we paid a hundred dollars for this. So I think it was, I think it was around a hundred dollars. But this is a handmade leather holster. You've been doing it for how long? <sighs> Didn't you say twenty plus years or something like that? Yeah, he's he's been doing it for a long, long time. He's no amateur. He knows what he's doing. No, he's an ex-military guy. You know, he, he just wants to make a product that's comfortable for the everyday carry. Um, it's an interesting design. Really, really like it. Um, I haven't used it much because right now it's 80 to 90 degrees here in Virginia, so I'm not going to wear something like this. Uh, so if you ever see uh, Riley Chester like going to another American outdoor show and you happen to be there, then check out his holsters. Yeah, they're pretty neat. Actually. They're really, really well made. I mean, you know, he's got. I can take it off the belt here. Kind of one of those things that hasn't really been worn in yet. Try not to help. I'm trying not to do this to Rooster. Oh man, yeah. Let's see if we can. Oh, there it is. <laughs> anyway, um, he's got his insignia here on the back also here on the front. And apparently this, this this looks like stitching here. It's not. It's a it's kind of like a pressed in design. And it's kind of burnt over so it makes this really cool kind of pattern looking thing. Um, I've never seen a belt loop like this. Um, well I think there's one other company that does this. I can't remember the name it's a really, really, you know, cool way to do it. It takes a lot of wearing in, though. I haven't worn this in at all. I haven't, I haven't really worn this at all. So it's really stiff. But, you know, I wear 
this one a lot, and it's you know, it's getting to the point where it's getting pretty soft. Yeah, really cool, really cool. You, you got to, I'm not sure if he has a website. He probably does. And if I can find it, I'll put it in the description. But yeah, check him out. Um, really cool guy. I mean, seriously, he was just a jokester. Unfortunately, this isn't designed for like, you know how sometimes guys will like to put like these you know, crazy lights or big sights on it. That's not what this is. This is pretty much stock Glock holster here. Stock Glock. Stock Glock. So, I don't know. What do you, anything else you think, Rooster? Um, well, if Riley Kessler is watching this video, thanks for the holster. Enjoy the shout out and uh, keep it going. That's, that's really, I don't know what to say except for that's really awesome. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know the light that a holster could be like made like that. God knows what he's doing. Um, the only thing I was disappointed with was I wanted a walnut. Color holster. This is more of like a mahogany kind of color. But I think it looks cool. This this is a walnut. So I got this new belt and I wanted a holster to match it, but I mean it looks pretty good. Yeah. Not that anybody's gonna be like, wow, your holster doesn't match your belt. <laughs> Because there are things I don't like about it. You know, just like anything else. Nothing's really ever going to be perfect for me. But, yeah. Um, especially the, the can angle on this is something that I just... You guys would have to see it to believe it. Like, it's just crazy how it works. You know, but, I don't know. Maybe I'll wear it for a while here this winter time. Yeah, another review on how it's going and see if it stays together and holds up for us. So, uh, yeah. Caster Farms Tap. Check them out. <laughs>